Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, this is just carrying on uh, from Ray's vlog because Ray had to go. So apologies, he was in Manchester and uh, yeah, uh, he had to, uh, I think he had a parking uh, ticket uh, that was uh, timing out. So he had to go. Uh, Ryan, how are you, mate? Um, so this is just carrying on and finishing off. Hello, the Saint, how are you? Um... Ali, Mohammed, hi, how are you, buddy? Tim Daniels, yo, Andy, how are you, Tim? Just looking at some sort of transfer stuff. Pat Roberts, hi, all, how are you? Uh, AT, hi, buddy. I was only having a bit of a banter with you before. James Ford, hi, Andy, uh, with regards to uh, Fortnite. Uh, another stream, you're spoiling us, absolutely. Um, Ray could only do sort of 27 minutes before his ticket run out. And uh, hello, Islam. How are you? Uh, so I just thought I'd come back on. Uh, we don't want to shortchange you guys. Uh, you're back. I am Kiam. Uh, we don't want to shortchange you guys um, on Man City Fan TV. Vinny the Vegan. Uh, the best name going. Absolutely amazing. Uh, how are you, buddy? Pat Roberts, very nervous today. Why? The same. Love content from the channel. Thank you, mate. Uh, you're more than welcome. Uh, Oh, a new one. HLMZY. Hi, Andy. How are you? You're new. Looking fresh and the ears have been lowered. The have went for a haircut today. Uh, had it all sort of chopped off. It's great. Had a beard trim as well. And it was lovely this morning. Spending an hour at the barbers and give me a right good trim. And uh, oh, it was great. Absolutely loved it. So, uh, yeah, ears are definitely lowered, mate. Uh, all ready for tomorrow, last game of the season. Uh, you'll win tomorrow, no doubts. I hope so. Uh, going 3 1. I think uh, shave it all off. <laughs> no, mate, you don't want my big head. My wife says you've got a massive head. Um, she's got a peanut head anyway, by the way. Any pamper, any pamper himself. Hi, mate, so nervous. Don't be nervous, Stevie. Good, thanks, says Vinny the Vegan. <laughs> no, Vinny, no, don't shoot. <laughs> Hi Andy, hi Chris. Kiam, I might go today. I'm sporting the Wurzel Gummish look. Yeah, well, I had to. It's fine, mate, don't worry. Uh, Islam, 5 0 City. Wow, that'd be great. Early goal, and you should do a watch along. My, I, I, I'm going to be at the Etihad tomorrow, so can't really do a watch along because it's going to be mental. It's going to be absolutely crazy, noise wise, and things like that. So to try and do a watch along, it's impossible. Uh, we've won the league, don't worry. Uh, we haven't yet, but we will do tomorrow, Islam. So keep the faith, buddy. Um, yeah, it's uh, go and get it done. It's great. I mean, I was I, I'm about two. I was about two weeks overdue for a haircut, uh, and I kept putting it off because I've been that busy with work. Just since uh, bank holiday weekend, it's just gone mental. So um, uh. I kept putting it off and putting it off and thought today, right, that's it. Rang my barber and said, look, get me in sometime this morning. And uh, they did. So uh, both teams will win. Hi, Andy. I uh, hope it's blue moon on Sunday. It'll be a blue moon. Gary Dineen, laugh alone. It's going to be a blue moon tomorrow. I'm absolutely certain of it. Got a blue shirt on. I'm all ready for tomorrow. All ready. Everything's primed. Going to be there at the Etihad Stadium going to be speaking to loads and loads of fans uh the atmosphere is going to be amazing i'm going to be doing filming obviously i can't film the match that's one thing so you've got to be wary of that ryan says andy how how did you get your logo mate for the channel uh it's um the people who designed uh my business um my business logos and things like that they were the ones I just sort of mentioned it to them and said, look, can you come up with a logo that is different? And we didn't want it like all the other channels and things with TV screens and things like that, that everyone seems to copy from Arsenal Fan TV. Uh, what we wanted to do was we wanted to have um, the city logo, as in the circle, because it had changed. And we wanted the colours and we wanted the exact colours that were in the badge. Um, but we said, apart from the red, we didn't really want the red from the badge in it if we could. So it was sourced. We sent the, we got the exact colours that were in the city badge. 
um, like an orangey yellow um, and the blue. I mean, I'm colorblind anyway, but, uh, and we sent it away to uh, the guy that does all the stuff for my, my business channel and things like that. So um, we did that and we uh, we got the exact colour matchings. But the you might see it and think, what's that? That actually is a glove. It's a glove. It's a goalkeeper's glove. Like he's making a save. Um, in front of it is the, uh, the Man City Fan TV logo. So... Uh, we thought we wanted something a bit different to what other channels have done with theirs and they all tend to sort of stick to something that is very much copying the logo of their clubs and things like that. So uh, that's that's top and bottom of it, really, if I'm being honest. So uh, I heard Liverpool are having an open bus parade uh, for the second. Yeah, I mean, they've already organised two, apparently. Uh, Blue Moon and Georgie chat yesterday, you never glossed over anything, bugger off. Uh, you did get overcome with the emotion at once then, <laughs> but you know, don't worry, just brush it off. Blue Moon, how long has it took you? I bet you've been writing that last night, haven't you? Just solely to come on this channel and say that to me. Last night, I must admit, I was like spaced out with that, uh, the fumes uh, from there. Today is much better. Um, so um, I just, I've steered absolutely clear from that room. Uh, logo is great to be fair. Thank you, mate. Um, we might change it. We, you never know. We might change it. We might look at doing something different. There's no harm in changing stuff. It was just something that we uh, we came up with, and we had I don't know ten or twenty designs that we looked at, and uh, we wanted something a bit different that wasn't going to impact on the um, Man City logo because you, you you're starting to tread into dodgy water if you start having a man city logo and you know it wasn't a problem for us because we don't make money off the channel but that's not to say that uh in the next few months we're not going to monetize the channel because we have to because of the contracts and things we're going to be doing in the summer um but we didn't want to get into dod dodgy water so we wanted something that was unique and a little bit different to what everyone else was doing um signing to chelsea done and dusted uh, I didn't like the logo at first, but now it's grown on me. Well, that we had a few comments like that, Kiam. I must admit, there were there were a few comments at first going, "Oh, why has it got orange in it? And why has it got this? And why has it got that?" And we kept saying, the, "These are the exact colours in the actual Man City badge," um, and we sourced those colours absolutely perfectly, uh, but. There was a reason behind it, and I'm no marketing expert, and the guys who look after my website for my company, um, they said, look, just trust us with it. Trust us, please. And so we went with it, and Ray, you know, Ray went with what I said, and which was great for, you know, Ray. Ray could have gone, no, I don't like it, I don't like it. And I, I had sort of, you know... Uh, reservations at the beginning but Ray went along with it and said no let's go for it and we went with it and now it's starting to become unique because it is different to what other people are doing so you know we don't want to copy what other do other people are doing that's why this channel is unique to what everyone else is doing at Man City in particular because we're doing different things um, and that's why you know we've never sold out We've never sold out to anybody. Um, it's purely for you guys and the fans and Man City. And that is what the channel is all about. So anyway, enough of the badge. Let's uh, crack on. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Because we'll, I'll do another 30 minutes uh, because Ray had to go. I hope he didn't get a ticket. Um, maybe he'll let us know if he's on, online somewhere. Um, a suggestion. Can you do overall play ratings? Yeah, we are going to do AT. I'm going to call you AT from now on. That's me, Andy Turner. So, um, Abshakek, Tembi, yes. I'm going to do, we're going to do all the wrap up stuff once the season is finished. So, we're going to do like player ratings, individual player ratings. We're going to do a team rating. We're going to do player of the year. We're going to do a season overview. Excuse me. We're going to do things like best goal best player of the season, all of those type of things we're going to do at the end of the season. There's no point now because who knows, tomorrow, um, God, um, Zinchenko could score an absolute worldie that beats Finney companies. Uh, so 
Uh, we're going to leave it until the season is over. Then we're going to do a massive review. Um, and we'll, what we'd like to do, and this is honest, we'd like to get some of the people that are on this channel to join us in a big, massive end of season Man City Skype chat. Uh, and if we, if you can't all make it or we get inundated with, you know, 20 people wanting to be on a live Sky or a Sky chat uh, with me and Ray, uh, what we might do is we might break it down and say, this video is solely about player of the season. And we've got two people from, you know, Man City Fan TV subscribers. And we've got, this one is going to be about team of the season. And this one's going to be about goal of the season. And if we get loads of people wanting to be involved in it, maybe we'll break it down. But if not, and there's only two or three people who want to actually really come on the channel uh, on a Skype chat that we'll record, uh, then we'll maybe do everything in one go. But uh, if you want to come on Man City Fan TV and you want to contribute and uh, we'll brief beforehand because like we do with any Skype chats we'll brief beforehand and we'll say look this is uh, this is what we're going to be doing this is the format this is this 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 um, so we won't just sort of go live with you on a Skype chat and then go right okay and throw something at you we'll give you the questions that we're going to talk about so you've got time to think about it days ahead uh, of the video so if you want to come on Man City Fan TV and think yeah I'd love to do that um, then you're more than welcome. So if you want to do that, you have to send us an email. Uh, it's no good coming on here and chatting below because, you know, we try and review the comments. As you know, we're one of the only Man City fan channels that actually reply to our subscribers' uh, comments below the video. We do, we try and at least give a thumbs up, if not reply to nearly every single comment that comes online. Um, so... Uh, if you want to come on, you have to send us an email, and that is mcfcfantv at gmail.com. So that is mcfcfantv at gmail.com. If you want to come on, you're going to have to be quick because we've only got, what, prior to after tomorrow, we've got a week before the final, and then we're going to be doing, the following week, we're going to be doing... Uh, all the videos that are talking about best player and review of the season, things like that. So uh, if you've not contacted, contacted us by, I would say, maybe Friday next week, then uh, you're not going to be invited along. But if you, if you want to come on, you're more than welcome. Like I said, this channel was set up purely for the fans. It wasn't for me and Ray, it was for the fans. So um, come on, have a chat. We'd love to be able to sort of have a Skype call with you one to one. Um, sorry, I'm getting loads of messages coming through. So uh, anyway, there you go. That's the answer to the question. Um, Kieran Sanderson, Championi, Championi. Let's hope we're singing that tomorrow, mate. Just don't turn it into Goldbridge style. Oh no, mate. Um, that is not. That's why we turned UFF away. Uh, we said we didn't want to go down that route. Um, I've already got uh, the lager ready to celebrate an early victory. Good mate, uh, Kieran. Uh, enjoy that beer tomorrow. Vinny Vegan, what's the Liverpool fan do when his team wins the league? He turns off his eggs. <laughs> uh, BB says, Will monetizing channel mean prioritizing patrons over the years? <laughs> no, mate, we have to. Um, we've got a load of potential contracts in the offering. Um, that means that to do that, um, we have to monetize the channel because of certain restrictions and things like that. So we have to monetize it. And we're in the process now. We've setting up the business account and things like that for the channel. Um, it's not going to change anything uh, with regards to um, what you guys get or anything like that. Now, you know, whether we do anything uh, in the future... Uh, who knows, but as it stands right now, there is nothing, nothing is going to change with the channel. It's just purely from a business point of view, um, because for us to move forward and and get the investment that we need in the channel, because remember, we're not, we're not charging anybody and things like that, um, for us to um, affiliate ourselves with certain projects, we have to monetize the channel. That's the whole 
sort of problem with it. Otherwise, we wouldn't bother. We just would not bother. We'd carry on doing what we're doing. But the problem being is that we have to do that so that we can get these contracts whereby we can do more with the channel. Um, that is, nothing is going to be passed on to the people who subscribe. Absolutely nothing. We'll never, at this point in time, ask people to be a patron and subscribe to help us finance the channel. We, Me and Ray will finance the channel out of our own money absolutely now if we get some money in from certain projects what that does is it allows us to be able to venture into other areas um, that we might not be able to get into um, so that's the whole reason behind it it's nothing to do with asking you guys to pay a penny or be a patreon or anything like that none none whatsoever we haven't done it for a year and we won't ask you next year to do anything like that whatsoever. But um, so if you do see in the future, because if we monetize the channel, um, that means we have to monetize the YouTube channel, etc. Then therefore, uh, you might see some ads coming up. We're going to still put our own charity, charitable stuff on the channel to um, to promote for free of charge. Um, the charitable stuff like the Leslie Ross artwork. Um, we've, we're going to work with other people that we're going to promote. Julie's, Julie's hats, we're going to promote those. We don't ask any of those people for any money whatsoever. It just might mean that if we monetize the channel and click monetize on YouTube, you may get some ads. Um, now, if you want to skip through them, that's absolutely fine. If, you know, the two, three second ads, fine. But we have to do that. So please... If you see ads coming up on the channel in the summer, it's not because we're selling out whatsoever. We're not. It's just that we have to monetize the channel to be able to do the things that we want to do uh, in the summer and next season for you guys on Man City Fan TV. But it won't cost any of you a penny, I promise. And we won't beg you for any money. Um, me and Ray will we'll fund it. We will fund the channel. Uh, there's no doubt about it because it is... Like our logo says, it's for the fans. That is what we've set it up for. So it'd be um, remiss of us if we went, went back on that and started asking for people to, you know, give us uh, $10 a month and things like that. That's not what we're going to do, certainly. Now, who knows if we get suddenly go from 8K, which we hit <laughs> yesterday, so a big, massive round of applause everybody to getting us to 8k if we went from 8k to 800k um we might have a little side channel there people can pay for for extra stuff but that ain't gonna happen if i'm honest with you we're quite happy at 8k and if we can get 9k that'd be brilliant so guys it's all down to the 8k is down to you lot who come on these live vlogs follow us on our channel and everything else so i just want to say a massive thank you uh never thought uh when we set this channel up we thought we'd get a couple of thousand if we were lucky. Um, uh, and we're already smashing through 8K already, uh, just over 12 months later. So you've been absolutely superstars and we really, really appreciate your support on the channel. Like I said, we work hard. We do work hard, honestly. Me and Ray work hard to give you this type of stuff. We don't make excuses. We don't go, oh, I've been busy at work and I couldn't do anything today. And, you know, it'd be easy. Trust me. Trust me. It'd be very easy for us to go, I'm knackered, I really can't be bothered uh, with it. But we don't, we just, regardless of the time, we'll put something out for you guys so that we interact with you every day. And uh, if you don't get a video from Man City Fan TV on any given day, you know there's been some serious emergency that's happened. Um, that's all I'm going to say on it. So, um Anyway, uh, that's enough about Man City Fan TV and everything that's coming. There's some great prizes. Like I said, Ray said before on his video, brilliant prize coming up um, for the winner of the Fantasy Football Channel signed Pep Guardiola shirt, which is amazing. Um, I'm number two. I'm not going to win it because I'm about 44. And even if I did win it, I, I would give it to the second place. So um, looks like somebody's going to win that. Uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening. Um, I can't even remember the guy's name. Um, and he, you know what? You know what annoys me more? He probably isn't even. Let me just have a look. He probably isn't even a, a Man City fan TV. 
um, a follower. So maybe I need to chat to Ray about that because um, let me see. Let's just have a quick look. Um, right, fantasy football. The guy's name is Malik Umer and his name is Mendy Sharp, Mendy Sharp Team. Now, he's currently number one in the Fantasy Football League. Now, I don't know any Malik Umer who comes on our channel. Uh, he's currently on 2,290 points. I'm second with 2,244 points. And then we've got DK Sagar Subaya who's on 2,239 points. And I'm trying to just go down. We've got Dralston Rovers, so that at least that sounds like local. Lee McKenzie, Pop, Peps Talk, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just thinking maybe I need to chat to Ray because um, this guy could have just, like anyone, just joined a 1,000 leagues and put your name in it and whatever. Maybe we need to think about who we give the, um, who we get the prize away because this guy might be a Spurs fan or a... You know, a Tottenham fan or, God forbid, a Liverpool fan. Can you imagine Ray sending that to a Liverpool fan? It's a waste of, absolute waste of time. So um, I'm going to have a chat with Ray about that. Uh, but anyway, uh, don't forget we've got the uh, the hats. I've got one here. The Mendy hats, uh, the Medjooly hats. Uh, there you go. Uh, two of those are going to be given... We're going to draw it probably next week. Uh, we're going to do it on Wednesday, I think, uh, Ray said. Uh, we're going to do a draw, but you have to be uh, in as a subscriber and your, your actual profile has to be public. If it's not public, when we pull up the subscribers, we won't see you, so you won't be in the draw. So make sure, please, that your profile, you've got three days, make sure your profile is public. Um, and uh, we'll draw a random. We have a, we did it last time, and it was like a random generated number, and we went through the list and we picked the person who it was on the list. So we'll we'll use the same random for the David White books. We'll just click it. It'll give me a number out of you know, six thousand, eight thousand, whatever, and that number I'll go through all the ones that are subscribers public and i'll pick that person i'll we'll name it and what we'll do is we'll do it probably do it live uh if we can we'll do it live so that person will be live saying you know we'll be there saying this is the person who's won one of the hats and this is the other person and we'll send those to you anywhere in the world but don't forget also hopefully next monday tuesday i'm gonna go and pick up the um the artwork uh, that's been signed by all the City players. So I'll be doing a video next week on the artwork that goes for auction. Uh, the auction will go live on Twitter uh, and we'll do it on this channel as well. But the only way that you'll be able to put a bid in is if you put a bid in on Twitter and you need to have um, a proper profile so that we can see who you are. Now, we've currently already got quite a number of bids for certain items. Uh, but uh, when we go live, we'll probably do it for a week and uh, basically say, right, as of today, the bidding is live and in uh, seven days time, um, the person who has the highest bid will win the um, signed uh, artwork. They Remember, these are absolutely unique. You're never, ever going to get these again, ever. These are one-offs, absolutely one-offs. Um, that have been solely done for Man City Fan TV. So, um, and you won't get them signed like we've had them signed by all the players. So, uh, that's going to go to auction. The money that is going to be raised is going to go to Vincent Company's Tackle for Manchester charity uh, for the homeless uh, in in Manchester. So, it's got all the money is going to go to an absolutely brilliant cause, and we will send the winning donations. Uh, People who voted for each of the, I think, seven or eight uh, artwork, pieces of artwork, will send them to you uh, secure uh, wherever you are in the world. Uh, we'll send it to you free of charge. Um, so please don't forget, look out for the artwork. Um, watch the videos that we've done already on the artwork where I've shown you. But this time, they'll all have the signatures by the Man City players on it. So loads of prizes. Who else gives you? Who else? 
gives you this amount of free prizes for free. You know, we don't ask you for a penny, yet we're giving you guys the opportunity to uh, get some absolutely amazing prizes. I must admit, I, I, I would quite happily bid on every, outbid every single piece of the artwork and keep them for myself and print them, put them on in frames and put them in my office, which I'm going to be moving into in the next month or so. So um, I'd easily, honestly, I would easily outbid anybody um, just so I could have these pieces of artwork. But we can't because it's for you guys. So, um, you know, some of the artwork are, are just amazing. So get your bids in next week. Um, follow us on Twitter. You'll see... Uh, I'll be posting stuff when I collect the artwork. It's on, for me, my Twitter account is at Aviation Blue. Ray's is at Man City underscore Ray. Um, so follow us on Twitter if you haven't already and you'll see when we post it to say, here you go. I'll do a video when I collect them and show you the actual signed artwork. So if you want to bid on those, please look out for the video, look out for the tweets. Uh, that we put out and um, yeah good luck to whoever wins them because honestly they are absolutely unique never ever will you get them again like we're going to give you uh, an opportunity to own and if I could honestly if I could outbid I would absolutely outbid every single person on them just to have them all myself right Right, well, that was, uh, I wanted to mention some of the stuff. That's why I came back on today uh, after Ray had to go. So hair looking fresh <laughs> for Sunday. It is, mate. It's, um, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, needs a bit of a mess around. But it'll be, uh, it'll be ready for tomorrow, mate. Reese, you just missed Andy doing the floss. That's, that's <laughs> Uh, yeah, Stephen Tierney. How's it going, folks? Um, it's sunny, bright, and I managed to get a ticket. Oh, brilliant, Stephen. Have a wonderful day tomorrow, mate. You lucky bugger. Um, enjoy the day. It's going to be absolutely amazing, I promise you. Um, Shellers, what about us that haven't got Twitter on here, mate? Uh, if you haven't got Twitter, what we'll need to do is we obviously have to confirm who you are. Don't forget, we've had a lot of bids already for these these pieces of artwork, uh, and they've not they've only just been signed. So, uh, one thing you'll have to do is you'll have to send us an email. We have to sort of, you know, it's no good. Anybody could make an email address up and go, yeah, I'll give you two grand for this, and we go right, okay, bidding's over, and blah blah blah, and then this guy's like, eh, I'm a Liverpool fan, piss off, and so we have to obviously check out. That's why we ask for Twitter. Because everybody sees you on Twitter. Uh, but if you want to bid for them, you can always send us an email. Um, that's mcfcfantv at gmail.com. If you want to bid on that, that's no problem whatsoever, mate. We'll take your bid on that. Um, John Grog, hi Andy, having a beer tonight? Nerves are getting the better of me. Come on, you blues. Don't be nervous, mate. Don't be nervous. Come on. Uh, Connor, Andy, do you think company will get a new contract? I hope so, Connor, and I think he will do. Um, Beyond Belief says, who could ever replace Aguero? I only see Mbappe and Dybala, but they're 100 million plus. See, you have a structure in place that works. Can't see them doubling our record transfer. Um, yeah, I mean, BB, to try and replace Sergio... It ain't happening. It's that simple. And Bappe is definitely somebody who potentially could, but yeah, it's going to be so difficult. Martin Sheridan, a lot of violent City fans going down. City fans will just enjoy the day because we are who we are. And is the game it's the game on at the Etihad? Yeah, yeah, mate. Uh, in City Square, this you have to purchase a ticket. Um, I wish they would have put it in the stadium and put it on all the screens and things like that but I think there was an issue with policing because United are at home and things like that but it's about 8,000 tickets have been sold for City Square so I'll be going tomorrow chatting to all the fans and they're going to show the match live on screen don't be nervous, easy to say, hard to do yeah, don't be nervous mate can you lend me a tenner? says Man City Man TV Ray uh, Reese Woodbridge, in terms of likeliness Hi, Simon Benson, how are you? Shares, thanks for that, mate. You're welcome. Kian, 
I have no nerves at all. Uh, we can't beat Brighton and Liverpool, beat Wolves. We don't deserve to. Absolutely. Uh, Makund uh, Nadkami says, uh, appreciate your positivity, Andy, but I will be sent. I'll be stationed firmly behind the sofa tomorrow. Don't be, mate. Enjoy it. Uh, I did that for 93.20. Don't forget, and I've said this story before, don't forget 93.20, I couldn't get a ticket. Um, and I was kicking my son's goalposts in the back garden to bits when it was 2-2. And I missed the goal. I actually missed the goal. And went running. I heard everybody, because we had loads of people over here. And I remember hearing this massive. Because I went to the end of the garden going, fucking typical city. 2-2. Two, two, and, and I went down and I smashed these plastic goal posts uh, to pieces. And then I just heard this huge roar from about 20 people in the house watching it. Um... They went absolutely crazy, and I ran and I dived into the um, into the lounge in there. Um, and I, honestly, I've never cried as much in all my life. Uh, and I saw the replay back, so I actually live. I missed the goal uh, because I just thought this is just all my life. All my life, I've followed this team. And I can't believe we've got it back to two two, and we're going to lose this game. And and then. Aguero moment. So please watch it. Do not stand behind your sofa. Don't do what I did and walk away. Um, uh, just don't do it because I, I'll regret that to the day I die that I didn't actually watch watch it live. Um, so um, yeah, anyway. Uh, do you think City will win the league? Absolutely. Do you think we will be more like San Fernandez or Rodri? Rodri, I think, is a certain. Andy works hard <laughs> as Ray. Mike Sheridan, I just got a ticket for the Champions League final face value 300. Ah, it's disgraceful. It is, a, it is just disgraceful. Kiam, I regret not going on the pitch after 9 through 20, but did after West Ham. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those. I've never been one for running on the pitch. I must admit, Kiam, yeah, it's never been my thing. Um, Julio says, I saw the Aguero go live in a bar in Baltimore. I mean, it's just amazing. Uh, Vlas Boyas, hi. Are you going to support Liverpool or Tottenham? Oh, Tottenham every day of the week, mate. <laughs> every day of the week. Uh, brilliant story. Yeah, mate. I, honestly, I, I couldn't make it up, but honestly, if I tried. Um, I'm not kidding. I think I'd, I've got a picture somewhere of the, what was left of the goals. They're like plastic tubing nets. The boys were only... Well, must have been like 12 or something like that at the time. And I smashed them and kicked them to absolute bits. And I'm sure I've got a picture somewhere of just what's left of them. And I was just at the bottom of the garden going, oh, fucking hell, I cannot believe we've got that close and Jekyll's just scored and we are going to lose. And after all my years of following City and, yeah, and then I heard this massive roar. Uh, and I thought they were taking the piss, I'll be honest with you. But I dived into the living room, slid along the floor, only to see Aguero's, you know, the replay of Aguero's goal and just cried my eyes out. Absolutely cried my eyes out. Andy, is Ray going to sit square tomorrow? No, he's not, mate. Uh, he's out with his family tomorrow. Reese, my dad missed Finney's header against United. Yeah, it's, well, it's uh, those moments. I mean, I think missing the... 93 20 moment is, is worse than the Aguero, uh, the Vinny header. But um, I was there at that game, so um, I saw it. Uh, so I was thankful I saw that Vinny's header. Uh, I'm gonna try and not be nervous. Don't be nervous, mate. Come on, positive. Uh, I think Malik was following us on Twitter. Julio, can Spurs and Liverpool both lose? Um, yeah, be nice, won't it? Uh, Graham Slate, three. 3-0 City, good positivity, Graham Slate. The same, the best thing about that day was United's faces. Yeah, it was just, it was amazing. I mean, it's it's going to be forever sort of like etched in history, that whole, you know, split screen of, um, you know, what happened at Sunderland and then or what happened at the Etihad. Uh, Danny 2ME, I was sat with some rights when City were 2-2 two -two and I kept saying City will win, the, win this and bang, Aguero scored it. Yeah, well... Good luck to you, Dad, because I didn't. I must admit, maybe it's my old City-itis, but I really did. I just, I saw the Jacko goal, and then what? I actually, I was there watching the, the game, uh, and I saw the Jacko goal, 
and just thought, fuck it, I'd rather us have lost 2 1. And I stormed off down the down the garden and everyone was like, What are you doing? I was like, fuck it, yeah, and I was going mental and smashed up the goalposts and just thinking, how you know, I'd rather us lose 2 1 than get to 2 2 with minutes to go and we've gone and blown it again and all my everything had invested in the team that season. And then I missed it. What a dickhead I was. Uh, but hey, that's just being a City fan for you. Um, you're only supporting Spurs because you can't handle us being the best in Europe. Oh, Europe means nothing to me. Um, best in the Premier League? Well, that's a different story, Nigel. Um, no. no, 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 no. Europe, like if you watched the video I did last night, Europe means absolutely zilch to me. Honestly, and that's hand on heart. It means nothing to me. Um, so, if it was bet, if if it was you or Spurs for the Premier League, oh yeah, I'd say to you, of course I would, of course I would absolutely go on for Spurs. But the Champions League, I'm not interested in the Champions League at all, mate. Any European competition, Europa League as well. Um, I'll stick up for supporting sort of flights and ticket pricings and things like that. But you know, best in Europe means absolutely garbage when you can get through to a Champions League final. Winning six games, losing one, drawing four. The other team gets to a final that have not beaten on a score average. Um, the team in the quarterfinals or the semifinals and get to a final. No, mate. And neither have been champions in the last 30 years. No, mate. Sorry, mate. I apologise. Um, I just couldn't bear Liverpool fans uh, if they won the Champions League. Um, I'm sure, and, and I'm sure United fans are even worse than City fans, uh, but uh, I'm more worried about Premier League than the Europa League or European League or Champions League or whatever they want to call it. Uh, you guys are genuine, absolutely. Hey Andy, hey Harris Khan, how are you mate? Is the Man City game on TV tomorrow because LFC are playing? Yeah, it's going to be multiple channels. Uh, I don't know about what channels because I'm going to be the Etihad where it's streaming live, so... Uh, I'll be there doing some vlogs and things like that, some videos. Miss one of Steve Kinsey's goal in the full Memphis Cup final back to Chelsea end. Last but <laughs> who would you like to see as the next Man City coach? Oh, nobody yet, mate. I don't want to even contemplate Pep for the next three years. Kiam, I'm very lucky I was there when relegated 99 uh, Wembley. And also, I've not even told, I don't know, I don't even think I've told you the 99 story. That's, that's me all over with Man City. Um, um, I in my days, my flying days, I should have been flying. I should have been on a trip, uh, and uh, it got changed. And so last minute, so obviously I couldn't get a ticket for uh, Wembley. Uh, literally, I don't know five hours before kick off, I got told I wasn't going to be flying, and I was going. Uh, I was on uh, days off, so I actually lived in Milnrow at the time. Uh, where Ray lives and uh, so I said to my wife my kids were only really really small I think uh, my youngest lad was two and my I think uh, no my my young my oldest lad was two and my youngest hadn't even been born my wife was pregnant and I said right I'm going to the pub to watch it can't believe I'm gonna be here to watch it so I walked down to the pub which was down the road and um, I was in there full of like United fans and everything else. And I was, there was only me and maybe two of the people who were City fans. Uh, and I, I kept jumping up and down when we scored. And then I ran outside and I kept missing. I kept missing every goal. Uh, I was running outside, ringing my wife, Helen, going, yes, can't believe it, can't believe it. Went out and I'm not kidding. I spent five hours in that pub. I've never been as drunk in my life. I'm not kidding. I... The, the pub was on the corner uh, near a little roundabout in the Milne Road village and I lived up the road only about 300, 300 yards, 400 yards. It took me about four hours to get home. I think I, I think I sat in every single flower bed in every garden because I was bouncing off walls. I was that drunk, singing, shouting. People were looking at me going, What's he doing? And I was cheering, I was singing, and I fell into somebody's garden. And then I got myself eventually, after 20 minutes, got myself up. I carried on singing, walking into the road, and then I fell in somebody else's garden. I'm not kidding. 
my wife was just like that. My, my wife was heavily pregnant at the time. Um, and she was just like, oh my God, get upstairs and go to bed. Um, so I missed, not only did I miss the 9320, um, I missed half the goals. I was, I was on the phone to my wife running outside the pub going, yes, my wife. We've scored, we've scored. And she's going, so? Remember, my wife was a United fan at the time when I met her. Uh, she's now a big City fan. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was just... Uh, my time with City has just been heartache and absolute joy, like you wouldn't believe. Uh, and the greatest moments have been, like, the lows for me because I've missed, I've missed some of them. Um, but... I've been there for some of the late latest ones, which is great. Uh, hi, Chris. How are you? Say, uh, you haven't looked at if you're in Premier League. Uh, do you think Sanley will be sold? No, I don't. Danny, tomorrow, Foden and Aguero still score. Doubt Foden will play. Robert Marlon, I uh, think Dippers have lost four games this year. Chumps League. Yeah, I think it was 1 6, drawn 1, lost 4. Uh, I know I think they lost 4, have they? I thought it was drawn 4, lost 1. Maybe you're wrong. What a sight that would be. Oh, mate, I'm telling you. I'm not... Uh, honestly, I had people looking at me for the next week when I walked past um, their house going, I'm sure that was the guy on Sunday or wherever was in a garden. I'm not kidding. I've never been, ever, ever, ever. I can handle my drink, but I've never been as drunk in my life. Uh, I got all the way to Wembley and I bladded and ended up selling this to my primary school teacher. <laughs> I couldn't swear. <laughs> Kian, that must have been awful. John Grogan, why don't we get any credit for our achievements? It seems uh, all we get is negativity. Yeah, I mean, it's just the way it is. We, it's one of those, mate. Just let it go over. Why we love this game, Andy. Absolutely. Reese, Raspberry Bacardi, I recommend. Hey, that's weird that you've actually said that because last week, my son, my oldest lad, Ralph, he, um, he went out and he pulled out this bottle he was going out with his mates. They were doing like pre-drinks or whatever that is these days that you kids do. Reese, you'll know more about it than me. Um, and it's all pre-drinks before they go out at like midnight and things like that. And uh, he said, all right, I'm going to my mates. Can you drop me off? And it was like Saturday night. And I was like, yeah, 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 I'll drop you off. I went, what's in there? And he pulled out this bottle. And I said, Bacardi, what are you doing drinking that? It was raspberry Bacardi. And I went... Bacardi, raspberry Bacardi, what's that all about? Um, sound a bit like Peter K there, uh, but yeah, never come across it before. Raspberry Bacardi, um, yeah, not for me. City will have to win the World Cup to get a credit. <laughs> yeah, Ruby Tom Lundy, John Grogan, all the media are asking, uh, can Bright beat City? Raise her, no way. That was our pre-drink yesterday. There you go. Andy, do you think that season will be City and Liverpool batting for the league? Yeah, I think it's going to be City and Liverpool again. Simon, I'll be honest with you. I can't see anybody else. I really can't. You know, Chelsea needs to step up significantly. Arsenal need massive improvements. Tottenham. Tottenham, possibly. Tottenham. But it depends because there's rumours today that um, Juventus is going to make Pochettino a massive offer. Um, for him to be, uh, I think it's nearly £20 million pounds a year um, to be their manager and giving him a massive war chest. Now, we've already heard Pochettino coming out making comments that are not really sort of positive towards staying at Chelsea, uh, at Spurs. So, um, who knows? Um, if he leaves, then it could be different. But if he stays, I think Spurs are going to be in and around the fight next year. But I think it's still going to be City-Liverpool. Red Star Robert was the other, I think. Uh, Pre-drinks is just a thing because it's so much cheaper. Yeah, I think that's what my lad always says. Chris Bake, last two seasons combined, we have 84% win ratio in the Premier League. These are the halcyon days we look back on. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Chris, I mean, it's like, you know, if we were to win tomorrow, that's 99 points average over the last two seasons. That is just, don't, don't ever overlook that. Nine, average 99 points over two seasons. That is incredible. That is absolutely unbelievable. Um, shows you how good Pep is. Shows you how good Man City are. And we're only going to get better when we buy new players to replace the players that need to go out. So 
I haven't got enough drink to get pissed on Sunday. Uh, come and meet me at the uh, the Etihad. I'll buy you a pint. No surprise, Guillaume. Don't use that. I think VR will help. Well, yeah, VR next season as well. Mural's never been the same. <laughs> no, probably hasn't. Uh, the last time I was proper pissed was the match against Hoffenheim when Leroy scored out in the elbow of the City fan behind me showing. You're right. We've all done that, mate. Uh, local pub for me. The only City fans surrounded by Liverpool and United fans, I guarantee we'll win. United will uh, plough me with free drink. There you go. So there you go. So there's a saving grace, Robert or Blondie. Uh, there's a saving grace to it is that you will not be on your own. You'll have all the United fans with you. So at least for once, you can all come together and just shout it out and sort of cheer on City. Um, the United fan channel just says it's because the league's rubbish. Yeah. Uh, oh, Kamira Dash. Andy, how pissed did Pep look at uh, the Prezi yesterday? Travis League in his mind, it must be so disappointed that the Blues not been part of it. No, mate. I don't think Pep's that arsed. I think he said, right from where go, retaining the Premier League, just like the fans have. So, good try. But no, mate. Uh, Premier League, back to back, not been done in 10 years. Anyone can win the Champions League. It's a cup competition. Simple as. And United are utter garbage, they are. Connor, Andy, do you miss the old city feeling or do you like me? I like both, mate. I like both. I'm not one for harping back to the old days. You gotta bear in mind, I've been I've been following City and going to City since I was seven. That's in nineteen seventy seven. I was born in nineteen seventy. So for for since nineteen seventy seven I've been following Man City. Um at Main Road and overseas and when I was uh, sorry oh, uh, away grounds and when I was old enough to have my own season ticket and go with my friends um, and then go to away grounds and things like that I mean I followed City all over the place um, can't remember Main Road I played at Main Road I played at Main Road three times for Man City uh, Manchester boys um, Main Road was a shithole it was an absolute shithole trust me um, but it was my shithole, it was our fan shithole, it was just ours, and the atmosphere was just phenomenal. You know, like, probably today you're looking at, like, Palace fans will go, our atmosphere and everything. That was what City was like every game, even though the team was absolutely shit. Uh, and that followed City to sort of god-awful away grounds, you know, um... And I'm not going to go back to this whole, oh, I went to York and all that crap. Um, but I followed City all my life and the atmosphere was amazing. The ground was shit. Absolutely shit. Pissing up the bloody walls and, oh, it was awful. It was awful. And people that get this nostalgia, the nostalgia is comes from the fans and the atmosphere and the camaraderie and walking down the alleyways and, and and things like that, you know, your dad taking you down the alleyways and going, here you go, son. Once you've been here, you'll never support anyone else. And that was what my dad did to me. And, and, and I never, ever supported anybody, anybody else. And yeah, it's weird. weird. It's just, it happens at every club. You know, we're not the only club in the world that I've got you know, old school fans that have moved from one stadium to the other. There's lots of teams around the world that have done that. Um, but um, I had great times. I had absolutely amazing times following City. Um, did I like the football? No, it was shit. It was absolute crap. Uh, did I like the camaraderie with my mates and everything, going to away games and main road and everything else? Absolutely. It was brilliant. The atmosphere was amazing. Absolutely amazing, uh, just incredible noise um, because we had to get behind the team at that time because we were so shit. We were absolutely, we turned up, we paid our money and we just, it was like watching crap every week, week in, week out, week in, go to Grimsby, go to wherever. It was crap, it was watching crap football um, for a period of time. But, it was our crap. It was it was our crap. It was just we went on the crack. Um, and we just enjoyed it. And it didn't make any difference. And that's where the gallows humour and everything came from. It was just, you know, I was fortunate. And I am so fortunate that I was brought up in that era where 
all of these things came about and came from because I just missed out on the 76 era. I missed out on the Colin Bells and things. So I missed out on the City being this great, wonderful team for the last sort of, you know, eight years. Um, all I saw really that I remember when I was a proper City fan, when I was a little bit older, uh, was just crap. You know, the 81 Spurs FA Cup final, you know, um, I was 11. Uh, I didn't. I didn't go to Wembley. Uh, I couldn't afford it. Um, my parents couldn't afford it. But I remember watching it and just thinking, "Oh God, disappointment!" And thinking, "Oh my God, I'm gonna get ribbed something rotten tomorrow in school," uh, because most of my school in Withenshaw were United fans. Uh, there was, you know, twenty percent were City fans. The rest were United fans, and I just thought, "I'm gonna get shit for the next God knows how long just from United fans." So I grew up with that expect disappointment, um, but I loved it. I still loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, and then I got to the age where I could go on my own and I went with my mates and there were like 20 of us who used to go. Some of us used to jib in under the sort of like turnstiles and climb over the wall and things like that. And I've seen some absolute shite, absolute crap at Main Road. I've seen some horrible violence in the 80s. Um, Liverpool fans stabbing and slicing, you know, people with Stanley knives in right in front of me. Um, and no, you know, in hindsight, it wasn't great. <laughs> it was crap. But I loved it. And I'm glad, I was so glad I was there to witness it for years and years and years. And, you know, in the 90s, the late 90s, I, I sort of went less and less. I gave up my season ticket and because uh, I was flying, so I was travelling all over the world. So I wasn't there, so it was pointless. Um, and it's only really sort of 2005, um, I started re-engaging again uh, with Man City as in going to games properly and going to away games and doing whatever. So, you know, I had a, I don't know, seven, eight year period where I didn't go to that many games because, you know, because of work, because of business, because of, you know, everything else that goes on in people's lives, I just couldn't do it and then where small children came along and things like that and you know money was tight and you know that that all the usual stuff um but it was only really 2005 that i really got back into being a city fan again and you know when my kids were a little bit older they were like eight and nine and sort of six and five and yeah they were a little bit older that i could take them to the game and i, I wanted to enjoy the games through their eyes and I wanted them to come. And then obviously we, you know, we'd moved into the, the Etihad Stadium or City of Manchester Stadium. So I wanted to take them along where I knew it was safe. It wasn't like when I followed City where, you know, going down alleyways and fighting and, you know, being jumped on by various different elements and factions of fans and things like that. And sometimes having to fight your way out of an alleyway. Um, I didn't want that for my kids. And then I thought the Etihad was safe. So I took the um and i just took them out of the pure love of my club but through their eyes um and letting them enjoy um the feeling i had when i went to my first game 2-0 versus norwich dennis stewart scored twice and on my dad's shoulders and on my uncle's shoulders in the kipax and you know corner stand and you know all that type of crap, um, nostalgia, um, and they've been, I just wanted them to be City fans, I just wanted them to follow football and be as passionate about my club um, for the rest of their lives. So, yeah, it was, yeah, and now, oh God, since uh, Shape Mansour's come back into our lives uh, and bought the club, I mean, I could never, ever have dreamt that we would be seeing the football that we're seeing. It's just, enjoy it. For you youngins out there, just absolutely don't, you know, forget beat, we get beat. If we lose tomorrow, we lose tomorrow. Um, that's just the way it is. That's life. You know, we can't win everything. Um, take the stick, move on, and still support Man City. It's that simple. It's in your blood.
you know, and you'll go to the ends of the earth to, you know, support your team with everything you've got. So um, just enjoy it. Enjoy this ride. It's incredible. Absolutely amazing. Um, it's just unbelievable. That's all I'll say. Um, yeah. I love, absolutely love this club. Love it. Anyway, that's enough. Let's crack on. Right, got a couple of minutes left before I start sounding like some old fart going on about 20, 30 years ago and how things were better then. They weren't better. The best now. Absolutely the best is right now. Enjoy it. It's incredible. Andy sneaking into a social club after the game. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you just, you've hit it on, absolutely hit it. Yeah, I mean, just things like that. City Social Club compared to Tunnel Club. You, you know, it's just chalk and cheese, mate. It's absolutely chalk and cheese. Beyond belief, the food was always better. I was having road on match day or so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but we had the curry mile around the corner. Uh, social Club every day. What was the bar at Platt Lane? Oh, God. I didn't go in Platt Lane. Um, I went in there only... My season tickets were... I had I had season tickets. My, my main season tickets were... Um, when I got them was in the Kipax and I had two seasons in the North Stand, um, which I hated. Uh, but I was sat right behind to the left of Helen Turner with the bell, uh, similar Andy Turner, uh, with the bell. And I hated it and I rarely went in the Platt Lane. I went in the Platt Lane a few times, I think, with my dad and my uncle when I was young. I must have been eight or nine or something like that. I remember the wooden seats and things like that, but... Yeah, it was um, Platt Lane I never really went into. It was always the Kipats corner stand that was open, always getting piss wet through. And people next to you would put their coats over your head if you were a little kid because you were on your dad's shoulders and your uncle's shoulders and they'd put the coats over and they'd get piss wet through because they didn't want a little kid getting wet. And that was what I, that's what I remember about that corner stand in uh, in the Kipats, the Claremont Road sort of corner stand. Um, so... Yeah, it's weird. What Andy has just said there is why this fan channel will always be for the fans. Thanks, mate. 1979 cost me nine quid. Said Shedders one. Amazing. Let's go to Junior Blue. So did I, mate. Early 80s. That was always in the social club. It was. Absolutely. Andy, what is a true... What is true? All the members of the City family have personal memories. Absolutely. Thank you, Scott. Uh, same here, Danny. Junior Blues. I enjoyed your monologue, Andy. Thank you. Sorry if I went on a bit. Uh, but, uh, yeah. We love our club. We just love it. And whatever happens, happens. We just need to be thankful that... Uh, we're seeing the greatest, greatest team I've ever seen in my lifetime. And let's hope we're going to see it tomorrow and for the next 10, 20 years and your children's lives. We'll see something that my children are now seeing. Your league predictions for next year. Do that after the season's finished, mate. North and Block, P, I, Sandy. Yeah. Ocean Rage next 100 year let's hope so it'll never happen we know that's not going to happen because it's cyclic football is cyclic it's uh, Andy did Kiam's message get you then yeah we did Reese says, it feels so weird to look, what's that? To look forward to the FA Cup and the Premier League. Yeah, it is too much. It is, absolutely. Anyway, guys, listen, don't forget, I'll be at the Etihad tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, follow Ray's vlog that he did earlier from Manchester. Uh, great vlog that Ray did, uh, but... Sadly, he had to shoot, so that's why I've come on today. Uh, it's Ray taking his private plane. 
<laughs> Ray's not going to be there tomorrow, sadly. Beyond belief, it'd be nice if Ray were me and Ray were together for tomorrow, but Ray's got, he's got his, I think it's wife's birthday or something like that, so it's fair enough, he's got to prioritise. I cannot renew because the football is incredible, uh, but the search is outside the ground and the rising makes me question. Yeah, it is, it is what it is. Chris Baker, great fans, great team, great manager, great owners, great stadiums. Sounds like the tiger from the Frosties. It's great. Absolutely. Uh, Premier League will go over Champions League any day, says Ryan. Yeah, true blue, mate. Wait until you get that green screen, you'll forget us. No, it won't, mate. You guys never, ever, listen, listen. Like I said, all the time, Kim, and I know you're only joking. We have never been in this journey for money um, or to get rid of proper fans proper proper fans um we did it for you we did it for the fans and we'll keep doing it for the fans i'm glad i joined well recommended by chris welch thank you kieran ryan even a lot of the fans say that thank you scott 37 likes that is shocking folks andy born is out bring the tear to my eyes says i remember everything that's gone thanks scott uh yeah bringing a tear to my eye mate um how to get to how to get participating to fans for this year uh follow the channel ray ray looks after it so uh, we'll do another one next year mate and we'll put the link uh you'll probably have to contact us i don't know how ray did it maybe via twitter or dm him on twitter or on our you know gmail account or something ray will sort it out but you can get involved next year for watching hi mate how are you i'm good mate how are you see andy fingers crossed love man city thank you mate andy hope we get a couple of early goals tomorrow don't think i can take it neither me tony so anyway guys you superstars i'll be back tomorrow from the etihad uh, can't wait uh, come on city um when's the pub <laughs> um hope all blues at city square have a cracking afternoon as well if we score early, this party if we leave uh, it late, there'll be definitely some drama. BB, it will be drama regardless. Look in the fridge to see six sausage rolls to find out they're all cheese and onion. You know, it's sad, it's sad Jess. Reese, are you going tomorrow if you if you are coming over and having a chat with me? Andy and Ray do a fast, fantastic job. And as a true blue, this is the best and only City Channel. Thank you so much, Danny. Um, take it easy, mate. Enjoy the game tomorrow with Champions winner Luke. Absolutely, Kiam. Uh, come on, City. Come on, Wolves. Absolutely. Listen, guys, uh, Gene Kelly stand uh, always singing in the rain. <laughs> yeah, it was. Spot on. Spot on, Shedders. Um, it was. The amount of soakings I got in that corner, it was just the climate road end. It was just amazing. Folks, I'll see you all on here after a magnificent day. Uh, you'll see you'll see me tomorrow regardless, whether we win, lose, draw, whatever. Um, I'll be back because I'm a City fan. Uh, and, uh, you know, if we lose and Liverpool win it, fair play. If not, uh, and City win it, you're going to get fucking loads of loads of it tomorrow, I'm telling you. Uh, no, I've not got a ticket, might try and get one. Try and get one, buddy. Come and see me tomorrow. Um, I couldn't say thanks, Andy. Hopefully you'll be getting wasted celebrating tomorrow. Uh, hopefully. Let's hope so. Take care, Andy. Brilliant once again. Thank you, Chris. Have a good day. Listen, guys. You're absolute superstars. I'll see you. Have a nice day, uh, AT. Uh, have a good one, Ocean Rage. You too. Uh, wallop that like button. Absolutely, give it a like if you like it. Uh, I'll come see you tomorrow, Andy. I'm at the Etihad. Nick, come and see me, mate. Please come and see me. Any of you that are there, just come over and say, Andy, it's Nick from, you know, blah, 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 or whatever. Please come and see us because we always like to interview. Uh, even if you don't want to be on camera, have a chat with me. I, I always love to interact with you guys. So, um, and if you win tomorrow, just leave those pushes. <laughs> hey, mate, I'll be, uh, it'll be Joe Mercer Ways, sort of, I don't know, uh, stanchions will be getting bent or left. I might end up in that canal. Um, oh, no, I don't want to tempt fate. I could end up in that canal tomorrow. Whatever happens, Blues save with this fantastic team. Absolutely. Win, lose, or draw. We're City fans. We absolutely love City. We've been through the highs, we've been through the lows, and we'll just follow them regardless of whatever happens. Uh, we're not bitter, we're just the best. It's that simple. We are City, Super City, absolutely. I gave a thumbs up, Simon Benson. Thank you. Listen, come on, City, tomorrow. I know we're going to do it. 
We need the we need the vlog. Don't end up in the canal. <laughs> I'll, I'll have done the vlog before I do the canal. I'll make sure I do that vlog before I fall into the canal tomorrow. Boundy, let's get that win. Absolutely. So City are going to do it tomorrow. I know we're going to do it. I've got a feeling. I'm not nervous. I'm absolutely positive about tomorrow. Um, I think it's going to be a brilliant game. And I think Sergio tomorrow is going to step up. And that's why put him as my fantasy football captain so listen guys you've all been superstars and ladies for joining man city fan tv uh, have a wonderful saturday evening wherever you are whatever you're doing join us tomorrow don't forget check out ray's vlog that he did earlier from manchester uh city center uh and i'll be back at the etihad tomorrow i'll be there probably around about 12 o'clock so if you are there and you want to come over and have a chat See you, Simon. Um, come over and have a chat with me. Um, I'll take three old girls. I'll take uh, I'll take one goal. I don't care. Uh, Bernardo reckons Don Randall. I don't care who it is. One nil, three points. Three points is all that matters. So I think we'll do it tomorrow. Confident, big result for City tomorrow. And I'm going for a 3-1 win. Two goals by Sergio and another by Bernardo Silva. So there you go. City... Don't forget to subscribe, follow Man City Fan TV, give it a thumbs up, click notification, spread it around. And don't forget we'll be back tomorrow at the Etihad. And also, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, you're not going to be in to win all these super uh, prizes that are free of charge and we'll, we'll send them wherever you are in the world. So, guys, take care. Have a brilliant Saturday. Sandy from Man City Fan TV. We'll see you tomorrow at the Etihad. We're not really here. You're not anymore, Reese, because I'm going. Spread the word about MCFT. Thank you, BB.